And how about that? Now that pump flower is working properly. See, and also the thing is, I also tend to forget with, with, uh, whether I do have the item on me sometimes. Here's the second one. And now we can use this. And there we go, now we can proceed on through beating this area. Uh, you want to hold on to that life for obvious reasons. Um, I'm not sure if this area actually drops more than one life. If it does, then that's great. Because then I can start casting haste. Because I've never actually tried to do a combination of haste with the magic bomb. That's what the, that's what the name of the focus attack this guy has. With the legendary weapon. And um, I just want to see what it looks like. What the combination will... I want to see how fast it will also charge as well. And I think we can get to that chest. I'm not sure. Let's just open up this one first. A uh, fire spell is not too bad in here. Uh, the, my Uke from, that I have is really very powerful with the attacking arts, as in magic and physical attacking. But for some reason, he's never had too much luck with health and defense. I don't know, it's just really odd. But uh, this also kind of makes him into a glass cannon. So I can uh, I can get really I can get hit really hard if I'm not too careful. Let's just try to switch ourselves up a, uh, a nice cure because we're gonna need some healing magic here. And I also kind of forgot to mention uh, you can just you can just keep on pushing Y because I don't know why I kept on pushing back. And also, if you pu if you push both L and R on these moments when you have a blizzard or like when you're we have too many when you're cycling through all your items, if you push both L and R, it immediately cycles you back to your attack option. Which is really interesting, I never knew that. Um, I kinda figured that one out like pretty recently, so it is uh, something that I never knew. And uh, for attackers, uh, knowing that can actually save you lots of time. So I really suggest you start using that. And let's just see if we can try to take this guy by surprise. This bomb is gonna uh, see me though. Alright, some pretty good damage here. If only I can just kind of combine this weapon with a blizzard spell. I want to see if I can try to do that, but that might take the uh, charge way too long. Which is really what I'm afraid of. I hope I don't just lengthen the charge time even more. There is a third one right there, by the way. And let's just get out of here. Uh, next, this is the only... This is, um, doing this uh, small event of the dried up plants and such is really rare. I mean, I think it only happens like once. Actually, it does only happen once. What am I talking about? But when you do this little event, um, you could probably only do it once after you, do, after you uh, beat the area. Then the water will be back to normal, and then you can get those chests, those juicy chests, down at the bottom area where you were you were not able to reach it in the first place. Okay, it's just a flan, so I don't have to worry about this guy. He's not going to be too much trouble. And over here, we're going to go for a nice magic artifact over here. Let's see if we can try to cause some trouble. What I'm going to attempt to do is I'm going to attempt to try to use my uh, my Mystic Hammer as a full-on physical attacker, but it will be incredibly difficult to use at the same time, which is what I'm really afraid of. I'm going to be kind of risking it, but I'm going to see if the, this risk will kind of pay off in its own sense. I've also tried to get a, I've also tried to get a, um, a different type of hammer besides just... Um, the Mystic Hammer, but I wasn't able to, sadly, so here we go. Mystic Hammer Flame Strike Combination. Let's see what kind of trouble we can stir up with this. Now, I'm really going to hope that the frog won't see me, because if he sees me, then I can't pull it off effectively. Let's see what we can do here. Okay, he just spotted me right now. Yeah, I can't pull it off anymore. I was really hoping I would be able to pull it off very effectively. And this is what I was afraid of too. If I can make that move flame strike, it'll become very powerful. Try it. To... Go! Oh shoot. Okay, yeah. Well. The problem with that move is that it takes even longer. I am assuming that the... 
at the added uh, element to the weapon will take about one second longer to even use, which is really horrible. I mean, eight seconds to use a weapon is just terrible. You don't want to do that, so you always want to try to speed up the process here. Which is not make it any, like, not giving any special affinity or anything, not try to power it up, but try to make it quicker. Which is why using a Selkie sometimes with their, uh, with their really special, uh, speed tomes will actually make them, will make some very useful partners to have. And so far, we've, uh, see some monsters down there, but can't take them out quite yet. Okay, what I want to do here is, I really want to try to mess these guys up. There we go. Now that was beautiful. Now that move does a lot of damage, but it's just for a very, very hefty cost. Oh, we also killed a, we also killed some other spectators here too, which is really nice. Let's just pick up our spoils and we're gonna run off. I'm gonna attempt to use this as a haste combination now to see how effective it will be in combat. Because I never tried using the Mystic Hammer with haste before, and but uh, I needed one more cure spell, which is really shameful that I don't that I don't have one right now. So I'm gonna stick to using a fire rest spell for now. Uh, using haste with the Mystic Hammer should definitely make it uh, more combat effective. So I'm really going to hope that I can start using this Mystic Hammer more often, because this Mystic Hammer is really useful and it's really powerful indeed. And I also forgot that the um, the pump flower was dried up, so excuse me. You kind of tend to forget, you know, if the, whether the pump flower is active or not, which really sucks. And I'm gonna run. One great thing about I, I liked about the Yuxos though is um, they always had the most resistance uh, versus the miasma filled air, and that's what I always thought was really cool. The Selkies and the Liltis always have the r hardest time when uh, dealing with the miasma filled air, and Yuxos always have the you know they can just leisurely just walk through everything you know they can just amble on and um, not have any trouble here. Uh, this is the Yuke's defense. I like to call it, this. Is, uh, the Yuke's defense is actually one of the best defenses out there in the game. It uh, it can really help you out, but but since the defense is not instantaneous like the Selkies, I would consider only the second best because uh, it doesn't happen immediately. You can still get hit even after you use the defense option. So you mostly uh, you have to wait until you're fully transparent until the, uh, until the full effect of the defense will actually work. So oh you know, yeah. You can also use push LR again to um, scroll back to the attack button, which is pretty cool. And what's over here? Nothing. We already opened this up over here, so now we can explore on. And there's a bunch of monsters there, which I'll probably have to just sneak around, see if I can try to get by unnoticed. Okay. Yeah, we can do this. And here we go. Here comes a world of hurt for the monsters. Packaged in with a hammer. Alright, sadly I wasn't able to get that, um, that, uh, that flan, but hey, I wonder how long it will take me to do this attack, even with slow on me. Oh wow, that's horrible. Oh jeez, this is actually really awful. Alright, well, haste will help me, definitely. But with a slow spell, I think that just doubled the time, so it took me up to 14 seconds in order to use the move. Just wanted to see how long it would take. So let's do this. Let's heal myself up. And I think we're ready to cast another life on the on the um on the pump flower. And we're good. But first, let's check down here to see what we have. I can just sneak. Oh shoot, I didn't get lucky this time. I'm gonna start using uh, more advanced magic this time around. I was considering on only using magic on only magic, but uh, since I have the focus attack magic bomb, I don't think it'll be useful. Uh, I mean, I don't think it'll be nice to only have, uh, you know, only magic attacks while you guys eagerly want to watch this focus attack of this amazing weapon. 
well, amazing in a sense that it's very unique. Stay tuned for part three.